Hello all, welcome to rotinance.com. In this session, we'll discuss about choice list, which is of two types. One is fixed list, another one is dynamic list. And in earlier session, we just discussed about the, the presentation on how it looks like, how do we create it. But now we'll just have a, a real-time implementation of the choice list, which is of both types, fixed as well as dynamic. So let us take one sample scenario. So now what we want to do is we want to create two custom objects. So one, we call it as XX supplier main application and other one is XX supplier approval lookup. So we'll start with the first one. In the first application, we'll just try to create a choice list of a fixed data type, a choice list of fixed one. So nothing but we'll just try to create the three columns or nothing but the three fields. I'll try to create three fields. And then we'll discuss about the dynamic one. So let's start with the first one, XX supplier main application. So I'll just navigate to the application now. So I'm in the application composer area so click on the custom object object click on new object now mention the object name xx supplier main application and click on okay so either you can generate the sequence so we don't require i mean so as of now you know like uh, you can generate a sequence so it doesn't have any issue so it depends upon the requirement either you can generate a sequence automatically or you can just have the custom sequence okay so i'll just go with the automated sequence so our application name is XX supplier main app. Now we'll try to create two fields first. One is supplier number and another one is supplier name. So let's wait. It'll just take a couple of seconds. Okay, so now let's go to supplier app. Click on the fields. Click on create a custom field. So I'll mention text field and I'll mention supplier number and the remaining things you can ignore. You can make it a searchable also. Save and close. Now let's create the other field supplier name. Okay. Now click on new field again, create a custom field. This also text. Sometimes it doesn't enable. What you do is just toggle between some other text field and uh, other comp uh, other field types and just select the other one. So it will automatically enable this one. Supplier name. and save and close. Now we want to create a supplier type, which is of choice list, which is a fixed type. Okay, so I'll mention that name as supplier type. Click on new field. Here comes a very important part. So here to choose choice list of fixed type. Mention the name. Okay, now here, this is a list of values. And here you have a option called search and other one is create. So click on create a new lookup type. So here we mentioned the lookup meaning XX supplier type as supplier. Now mention the lookup code as well as meaning. So it's not accepting this right. So let's see. It should be all uppercase supplier type. Okay. Now. internal internal external external okay assume that we have two types internal and SL external and you can mention default value also or you can ignore it also let us say i'll go with the default as internal click on save and close okay now so our fields are almost done like uh, we have supplier number name and other one is a choice list so now here next step is Click on the pages. We want to generate the pages now, right? So click on the pages. Click on create default pages. So this particular step will generate the default pages. Once the pages are generated, we can add up the field which we created. By default, the fields will not be added to the page. Only a basic page will be generated, but we have to explicitly add the columns which we want to show in the page. So this will also take a couple of seconds to minutes. We have to wait.
okay so we have three pages generated landing pages creation page layouts as well as detailed page layouts so we'll click on landing page nothing but the main page which will be open when you click on the link in the custom application object so click on summary table here on this icon and now you just drag and drop with the columns which you want to show in the output so here we just require supplier name number and type so we don't want updated date or created by as of now so i'll just require only these supplier name number type that's it and similarly in the create page as well as detail page also will update This is in the creation page. We require supplier name, number, and type. Name also. Let's make it top or the second one. Number, name, type. And similarly, the details page also. Number, name, type. That's it. Okay. So now the page just the pages are updated automatically. Now we'll just navigate to the page now. Okay. So I'll just reload. So once the page gets reload, yeah. so now we'll navigate to the others app. So now make sure that you should be able to see the Excel supplier main application. So now we are able to see that. So, yep, so this is our page which we just created just now. Click on create. Now I'll say supplier number is 100 and I'll say Tata and the supply type. I just go on to go with that internal save and close. That's it. So now we could be able to see the pixel list, right? Now we'll try to create one more record and then we'll see the other one. I'll say 2000 and I'll say external. I'll go to ITC save and close. Okay, so we're able to create the page with a choice list of fixed type. Now let us see the dynamic one, right? So for the dynamic one, what we require is we have to create the new custom object. One more custom object we require. I'll click on new custom object. So as per our sample, so I'll just go with this name, XX supplier approval lookup. I'll mention it as XX supplier approval lookup. Okay. So record name, don't change this one as of now, let it be like this. So let it generate. What we do is very important thing you have to remember is so when you are considering the linkage of this dynamic lookup with the main application, and when you click on a drop down, right, it shows what is what it what does it show? It shows either email or name. So, but now in, let us say in our case we want to show the email. We want to show the emails because here if you observe when we create a custom lookup, what is it showing? Here it's showing the external, but internally in the database it will store extnl lookup code it stores. But for the us it shows the lookup meaning similarly when you're linking a lookup when you're linking a dynamic lookup object to the main application so now we want to show the email okay we want to show the email when the user clicks on email it will show the name okay that's what we want to achieve so let us see that how do we achieve so first of all let us go to the approval lookup so we'll just create only one field we'll create only one field remember here i want to create only approver name but approver other component how do we achieve that i'll try to show you that so first of all i'm creating a field called approver name which is of type text nothing to change here simple text column and a very critical functionality is here critical information is in this particular one click on field a standard one click on record name right so this is a record name the, uh, understand here record name so this one i'll try to rename it as i'll try to rename it as rename it as approver email okay i'll name it as approver email so what i have done this record name i have changed it to approver name okay now next thing is go to the pages and same thing you generate the pages add up the columns and then once the page once the page is ready then later on we will link to the main page so this is the independent lookup page okay when you want to have a dynamic choice list you have to have a independent custom object or a seeded object also you can use it but independent object you require okay so now i'll click on the layouts and have the fields appropriate fields so we just require only two fields 
approver email as well as name other things we don't require so i'll just remove remove the other ones approver email as well as name so let us do the same updation for the remaining two pages also create creation page update approver name email is already there so just go with this done finally details page layout click on this save and close okay now the independent in the independent page creation is almost ready right so now what, what i'll do is i'll just navigate to the main screen and click on the others application area now we should be able to see the supplier approval lookup so i'll click on this one we'll just create a couple of sample emails now okay okay i'll just create two more records okay so i just created three records now okay so they are saved automatically now what we do is now we'll navigate to the main application so we want to have this email linkage to the main application so i'll just click on the main application click on the fields now it goes a very important one so click on the custom and click on new field so here we'll select choice list dynamic we'll, we'll select choice list dynamic and here i'll say i'll say approver email list okay now click on next and here related object make sure that you select the appropriate one so xx supplier approval lookup and you don't have any option here you can see your automatical record name will be shown there is no other option you can select by default you can select either these who columns or record id record number or record name there is no other column you can select in the list selection display value okay now click on submit and once this is done you have to add up this particular component to the page okay so now we have done almost click on pages and so we have to explicitly add as i said you earlier it will not be shown by default and if you see here if you observe here right so it is a drill down page drill down component now when you click on approval email list on the main page it will show the remaining information also so you can exclude that you can uncheck it also or if you want to have it you can also have it either way is fine now click on default custom layout click on this particular one and we just have this one save and close similarly okay done so now we can navigate to the main page i'll go to the main page and let us see how the dynamic choice list is working click on others supplier main application okay now it shows the email that is okay now we want to update the email now let us say for this first record let us see that i is it does, does it show or not right so i can just type it we have added record for sita so it does it has to show and we also added a data for narain so it has to show yeah is it showing it is showing so it's good okay so this is how we can link this one right now let us say it is showing only email but let us say in some scenarios you may have a requirement to show the email as well as name also but the name is not stored in this particular main application the name is stored in the other application so how do we get that right so in that case what we have to do is we have to add up a field with a type called formula so now we'll go to the field section again we'll create a new field and we have to select the option called formula so select this formula option and i'll say approver approver name click on next so here 
you just need to select that particular field. So click on this particular one, click on fields, supplier main application and approver email list. In the approver email list, just scroll down, you just select approver name and click on insert. Click on insert. Okay, that's it. So what are we doing is we are dynamically trying to retrieve the approver name by using a formula on the component which we create based on the dynamic list. So now the same way on the pages, we just add it up. So I'll just add up only the landing page. Approver name, that's it. So now we can just go to the page. I'll go to the page, this one. I will try to reload. Player main application. Now we should be able to see this, right? Approval name, we are able to see it. So in this sample, we have discussed about three things choice list, fix, choice list, dynamic, as well as formula. Also, this is all about these three components in the application composer. Thank you.